The main problems associated with the start fill micro switch include sticking and ultimately failing. These happen when the push button grommet, part number 744, the part number 754 push button, and the part number 760 push button become dirty. Or the switch itself, part number 683, is broken. The easiest thing to do is to unscrew the push button grommet and clean all three parts. This can be done by soaking them in warm soapy water and scrubbing. Make sure that the gunk on the push micro switch is removed. Either clean with a screwdriver or you can remove the switch and clean it. For a finishing touch you can add label number 632-0005 to the front of the switch box after cleaning. Cut power to the machine by unplugging it. Verify that the machine is de-energized using your voltmeter. To remove the push micro switch in machines with a switch box, remove the quarter inch hex head screw from the rear of the switch box. This will be inside the cabinet on certain models and inside the chemical pump case on A5 machines. On top mount machines, there is no switch box. The push micro switch is inside the control box on the control box cover. If the push micro switch is suspected of being bad, remove the wires from the push micro switch and using your voltmeter set to ohms, check the continuity of the switch. First check your meter to see if it is working properly by putting the lead tips together. The meter will change readings. This will indicate a continuous circuit. When you push the switch, the meter will indicate whether the switch is working by a change in the meter reading. No change means that the push micro switch is bad and needs to be replaced. All switches can be checked in some version of this method. Now remove the screws and clean or replace the switch. 